वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम टू पॉइंट थ्री सेवन सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज़ गिवन दैट डिटरमाइन द डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ कंपोजिट बार ऑफ प्रॉब्लम टू पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स इफ इट इज़ सब्जेक्टेड टू सेंट्रिक फोर्स ऑफ पी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव किलो न्यूटन सो वट वी हैव टू फाइंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस रॉड सो इन आवर प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम टू पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स वी डिस्कस दिस प्रॉब्लम नाउ दिस यू कैन सी दिस इज अ बार दैट इज कम्पोज ऑफ थ्री लेयर टू ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम दिस वन इन दिस वन इज एल्यूमिनियम वाइल द मिड वन इज ब्रास ब्रास वन क्लियर एंड द थिकनेस ऑफ ईच बार इज फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड द वेट इज थर्टी मिलीमीटर टोटल लेंथ इज गिवन एज टू फिफ्टी मिलीमीटर सो वट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस डेल्टा एज वी नो दैट डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू पी इन टू एल डिवाइड बाई ए क्लियर सो डिफॉर्मेशन इन दिस बार विल बी डेल्टा एंड वेन यू अप्लाइड लोड पी क्लियर कंप्रेसिव लोड पी सो दिस लोड इज इक्वल टू लोड टेकन बाई Uh, this aluminium rod uh, uh, aluminium layers plus load taken by this brass and the deformation in each of these layer will be same so delta is equal to delta of aluminium is equal to delta of brass so what we have to do we have three layers so and all three layers is of uh, 30 by 5 mm so for each layer for each layer area will be equal to 30 multiply by 5 mm which is again equal to 150 mm square millimeter and in meter it will be equal to 150 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter so when you applied this load p this load p clear so uh, this load will be taken by aluminium as well as this brass uh, layer so let p a is equal to load on each aluminium layer load on each aluminium layer and pb is equal to load on brass layer clear and also we know that deformation which is equal to delta and that delta is equal to p into l divided by a into e and that is again we have written here that is equal to delta a so it will be equal to p a into l divided by area of aluminium layer which is again a and e of a and that is again equal to del b del b is equal to p b into l divided by a b into e b so when you compare these two these two clear they are equal so from here if i compare that so p a into l divided by area a and e b all are are also same because each layers are same so i will write them a so p a into l divided by a into e a is equal to p into p b into l divided by a into e b l l will cancel a a will be cancel and you will get uh, p b and if you are interested in p b so p b will be equal to p a into e b over e a okay now uh, if you go to problem 2.36 the e a is also ea the value of ea is also given so ea is a uh, 70 giga pascal so 70 to the power 9 pascal and eb is 105 
giga pascal so 10 to the power 9 so you can check that from there so if you put the value so pb will be equal to 105 which is eb not 105 divide by into 10 to the power 9 divide by 70 into 10 to the power 70 into 10 to the power 9 into pa so from here you will get PB is equal to 1.5 times PA. Clear? Now you have this equation. We also know that total load P is equal to uh, this load is taken by two layers of aluminium. So definitely here I will write 2A because there are two aluminium layers. So P total P is equal to 2PA plus load taken by the bros again uh, pb is equal to 1.5 pa and also you can also calculate pa is equal to uh, uh, how you will calculate you will have to put this 1.5 or in this equation so p is equal to 2 pa and instead of PB, you will put 1.5 PA. So from here, you will get P is equal to 3.5 PA. And this PA will be equal to, again, it will be 2 by 7 P. Clear? So you have this uh, PA. Clear? You have this PB as well in term of a so you can also find uh, uh, you can also find the deformation now you know that you know you know that this deformation because the load is compressive so there will be decrease in length will be equal to minus any of it either you can take this or this clear so i will take minus p a into l divided by e a into a you can have the values p a is equal to 2 over 7 so again minus 2 over 7 multiply by this length length is 250 millimeters so 250 into 10 to the power minus 3 let me show you the length this is the length of this layer clear divide by ea ea is 70 giga pascal so 17 to 10 to the power 9 multiply by area of the layer which is 115 to 10 to the power minus 6 so when you solve this you will get these deformations comes out to be minus 306 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter or you can say it is equal to minus 0 0.306 millimeter so this much is decrease in length of this aluminium bar of length 250 when a load of how much load in question it is given 45 kilo newton is applied clear so this was all about uh, problem uh, 2.37 now remember this pa is 2 or 7 into p so i have forgotten to mention the value of p and p is 45 into 10 to the power 3 so after solving this you will get this value and deformation will be this so this one is your answer so i have highlighted the important equation important equations so these are the important equation and i hope you have now a clear understanding about problem 2.36 and problem 2.37 again if you have any confusion confusion i will suggest you to go to problem 2.36 which i have discussed earlier and you then you can come back again to problem 2.37 thank you for watching and giving me your time